Hey there, hi there, ho there. Hope you're still good. Hope you're still safe. Hope you're still well. Wear a mask. It's important. Care about each other. Black Lives Matter. And all that. Uh, hi. How are you? Uh, this week I was thinking I wanted to do something fandomy, but you know, I haven't really. I've been doing that a lot lately. <laughs> Gotta do some original stuff every once in a while. Once in a while. <laughs> but. I also need a new icon, so, you know, we're gonna sit and do that, and I'm kinda happy with how it turns out. It's pretty cute. Uh, it's, it's a lot more updated, because since quarantine I have not been able to get a haircut, and uh, I'm gonna wait until I get, like, there's there's uh, less worry. So, yeah, like I said, wear a mask, guys, and care about your other people. Like, <laughs> please. For the sake of getting this over and done, wear a mask. So, how how am I? What am I talking about this week? I'm sorry. I'm I came off of a D&D game. I only play. I've been playing a barbarian, so there's not a lot of thinking involved. But there's a lot more of me doing stuff this week. It was fun. I got to sink some ships. So that's funny. Um. I also have been playing Animal Crossing. I'm gonna put a dream code probably in the description if any of y'all want to check out my island. I have a couple of things that I have saved. I've got the Umbrella Academy coat thing that I made myself and pretty happy with it. Uh, if you run into me, there are some spoilers for Umbrella Academy, just for dumb jokes. There's some SpongeBob the Musical in there and then a really cool uh, sta stage. I might do a little bit more, I might move that stage so that it's like higher up, but I'm kinda happy with how it is right now, so you know, there's there's that. Um I have also I've just been kinda working on various things. I've got a lot of ideas in my head. I had a lot of fun making Daddy Knows Best with the rumor. <laughs> I thought I thought it'd be a fun thing. Plus it's Amy Raver Lampman and it's just funny to think of like her, the, the rumor as Pearl and they still have like this kind of connection. The only thing is that like the difference is instead of money, it's Reginald, season one Reginald saving the world and I have like a whole thing on like the difference between season one and season two, which is actually really funny and also like, gosh, I want, it's it's playing in the background right now for me. So I noticed something re like last night and I was like, oh shit, that, that makes everything hurt more. It's fine. This is fine. So yeah, I'm not going to talk about that because I don't want to spoil anything. So I also had a plan to do something with a dib drawing because, oh boy, um, y'all know, if, or if you've, if you've watched my videos long enough, I long ago, not even long ago, a couple months ago, did a Danny Phantom fandom speed paint kind of thing where I read you a bunch of stuff and talked about my experiences of the fandom. I kind of want to go back and redo some stuff or just talk about stuff. The problem is that, like, honestly, the stuff that I would talk about is all stuff that you can find on other YouTube channels, but... The short story is, I used to be a big fan of Butch Hartman. I am no longer a big fan of Butch Hartman. Never follow your heroes too closely, guys. Or do. Maybe it's good to know whether or not a person is someone that you should trust and uh, believe in. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you to stop like following Butch Hartman and being interested in his stuff. I'm just gonna tell you to look up the Oaxis thing and go down that rabbit hole because I don't know it's it's just disappointing I guess to find uh, one of your childhood heroes is really pretty terrible and honestly I would never would have found out about this nor cared if he didn't go online he probably could have been fine just doing cartoons for the rest of his life and I get it you want to you want to say more than just what your cartoons say but as the series go on, characters be became so stupid and it, the characters just weren't that good anymore. It's hard to care about these characters because they're just mean and stupid. And before there was just, there was a sense of like endearingness towards them. But anyway, there's a whole thing about him in commissions and dib membrane, 
which is actually an old drawing at this point technically so I don't I can't really say that it was a commission but it was still a bad drawing because I can I've seen what he can do and it's just it's lazy you know it's just not not nearly as good as what I know he can do so that's what's frustrating about a lot of it um, I don't I don't really know if there's anything else to talk about hey cat can you anyway uh, I've also I also have like this idea to do something on a book called American Born Chinese it's a really interesting comic or graphic novel and I totally recommend it. It's a pretty short read and it's won a bunch of awards and the writer of it is the same guy who wrote the Avatar The Last Airbender comics, the later ones that cover a lot of the stuff after the series. So if you liked any of those or you like the idea of those, go check it out. Give it a chance. Uh, it talks about a lot of racism, internalized racism, um, being fresh off the boat, being an immigrant, being a first gen immigrant. And I'm really confused actually nowadays by like which is first gen, what's second gen, because I'm pretty sure I, I, I was positive that first generation were the people who came, who like the people who immigrated, they were born in another country, but they moved here. And then second generation was the children of one or more of those parents. I am not sure anymore. So that's that's a little confusing to me. Uh, I'm one of those, so that's part of the reason why I really like that comic because I relate a lot to the main character and there's three stories, they all come together at the end and um, if anything, there's a character in there that's like a very obviously racist caricature of Chinese people and uh, it's played as, like the, the parts that he's in is kind of played as a sitcom because underneath you see just like the ha 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 ha, like the audience laughter, so I would recommend it. Uh, I want to do a whole breakdown of it and how, talk about how it's like the internalized racism and how you can't really use that character as like an example of bad like representation because it is part of a greater whole, or at least I don't think you should unless you rec you understand the rest of the comic. There's definitely worse examples out there and there are some pretty bad examples of how a person can be racist uh, in that book, but they're not Chinese characters. So that's that's a thing. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know if there's anything else for me to say this week because I want to go back and work on working on Daddy Knows Best and also na 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 because I was having a lot of fun with those. I, actually, they were pretty easy to do and it was easy to get uh, the amount that I had drawn and um, I got a lot better at doing this in an easier way for me to animate. So hopefully you guys enjoy that kind of stuff. I enjoy making it. The only problem is that those get copyright claims, so I still got to do these speed paints. <laughs> But I uh, hope you guys have a good week. Uh, I will see y'all on Friday. Like my video if you're interested in more. Comment. Uh, subscribe if you're interested in watching more stuff. If you checked out my animations and animatics and storyboards. Hope you have fun with those. And yeah, I'm gonna try and get like one of those intro videos done so that, you know, this is more and more professional looking. <laughs> okay guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Catch you next week. Bye!